Hello everyone, this is Tommy from Foyer, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use our inspiration tab and also use our inspiration designs so you can build and customize it um, to start your own design. Right now we are on the dashboard. If we come over here to the left and we go to our inspiration tab, this is where you can find designs at and looking at extra elements or different elements from different designs. So if we click on this design here, every single product or every single texture that is used in this design, we can go ahead and shortlist into our own. But we also can take this entire design and customize it and make it your own. So let's open up another project or a new project and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to click over here into our 2D grid and into a new project that I have named Inspo. And now we still have our inspiration tab over here to the left. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to come back to this kitchen space. And you see once you hover over it, it says to drag and drop to add this inspiration. So we're just simply going to drag and drop it into onto our 2D grid. I'll let it load. I'm just going to minimize that inspiration tab. I'm going to let it load up a little bit. Okay, and now since it's all loaded, the very first thing that I like to do once I have dragged and dropped my inspiration uh, design or project into my space or onto the 2D grid, I like to go into 3D mode to see exactly what I have to work with. Okay, now since we're in 3D mode, you can just look around the space and now you can start customizing it to what exactly you want. So we can change the wall color, we can delete and add elements, we can delete and add furniture. So I can click here and I can delete this out because I don't need it or I don't know what it is. Okay. I also can come over here to texture and I can add a wall paint on it or a wall color on it to really make the room pop. So let's go with a blue. And let's say we just want to use this blue here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to color all of this blue. So you can really make the space your own. You can also change the flooring. Say I really want to do this blue concrete towel. So I'm just going to add that here. I'm just going to edit my towel to make it smaller. Okay. Now we can see that the, the space looks completely different than what it did before. All right, if I want my island to be bigger, I can click on these. And I can resize it. And now I have a bigger island that I feel fits the space a little better. I can come back into 2D and I can add an extra room onto it or I can even make my space a little smaller so I can bring my wall in. 
to do that, I'm just holding down left clicking on this wall and dragging it in. And now when we come to 3D, click back into 3D, we see that I have made the kitchen a little smaller. Again, you can change out these fixtures that I do not want these light pendants and I can add in my own. So I'm just going to click here and I can delete them out if I no longer want them. You can add your own to it. Okay. And that is how you add an inspiration or use our inspiration tab to customize and to make a design your own. Again, we can choose another design. We can come down here and we can look here and we can use this bedroom. Again, I'm just going to click on it. And when I just click on it, it's going to bring us to the inspir something sort of like the inspiration tab and show us each element um, that's in the room and also each texture that's in the room. Or I can simply click here and add inspiration to project and just drop it in. I'm just going to drop it on my 2D grid. And now I have this room. I can go back into 3D. I'm just going to click here to reset so I can get a bird's eye view. And now I'm going to double click into this space. And now I am in this space where I can customize it and make it my own. I change textures, change furniture. You can even change the layout. It's a really good starting point. I hope this has helped. Happy designing. Bye.